Well, hey everybody, welcome back. All right, well, you're probably asking, where, where am I this weekend? We are back at the museum mine because you guys helped me out and uh, we hit the 140,000 subscriber challenge. And as promised, I told you guys I would come back to the museum mine and we would do a more thorough job at uh, documenting the artifacts as well as um, go down into that winds that I wasn't able to get into the last time that I was here. So I thank you all so very much for uh, helping me out to reach 140,000. You know, technically we hit that number on the 4th of October, but uh, hey, you know, we're not splitting hairs here and uh, you guys are just great. So I'm going to do this one one more time for you. So the plan is um, I'm just going to go all the way to the bottom. Randy's going to follow me here in a moment. And uh, once we get down in there, then we'll go straight to the winds and we will uh, we'll get started on that first. OK, so I'll see you in the bottom. To the bottom it's not uh, that deep of a shaft i figure this one's only eh, roughly 250 275 until we get into the bottom um, and that's where we're standing right now now many of you may have not seen the episode where we documented this mine about three four months ago so i'm going to put a direct link down in the description area just head on down in there click on it and it'll take you to that episode and that one we've already documented many of these artifacts but a lot of you wished that i would have taken higher resolution photographs of each and every one of these things that we found so i'm going to do that today in this video um, but first we're going to go explore that winds and then after we get done doing that uh, we'll come back and methodically work our way up and out of this mine um, doing kind of like a forensic analysis of each and every drift level and the things that we find so let's head on over to the winds and get started over there. So here's what I think is going on here as I work my way into this hole. <laughs> this was one of the last places that the these miners were working. And uh, a lot of their equipment is around the corner over here in this little drift. I'll show you guys that after a bit. So I think there's a darn good chance we're going to find a bonanza of artifacts down in here. Yep. Okay. I mean, look at here, Randy, they got vent pipe and everything. So that's a, that's a really good sign. Mm -hmm. All right. You got your radio on then? I do. All right, I'm going to go check it out first. All right. And if it turns out to be spectacular as well as safe, I'll send you down and come behind me. Oh, there's what are they doing here? What they got Oh, that's a skinny little. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Oh, this is super cool, man. 
what a rush to be the first people down here since what maybe 1940 A lot of people ask me, why do you do this? Isn't that dangerous? It's a real rush, guys. Discovering new things. Seeing things that haven't been seen in a in hundred years or more. And the best part is bringing it to you guys. Because I know there's a lot of you that can't do this activity and you really enjoy this. All right, look what we have here. All right, Randy, this is all looking really safe. You can go ahead and come on down to this point. Look here, guys. All right, we got... Are you on a drift? A, what's that? Is that a drift? Uh, no, just a little tiny cove right here that has some artifacts in it. Okay. So we've got repurposed drill steel here with a, uh, a hardened chiseled end on it. Here is another chisel right there. Here's the end of a what's left of a pickaxe handle. And uh, over here is a bottle. Right there. Look at that. Fortunately, the top's busted off, and there is no emboss embossing on the bottom. Nope. Okay, I'm going through a uh, a relatively sketchy spot here. There's some broken rungs and other ugliness happening. Let's see if I can get around it. Just watch out for unexploded dynamite. I'm not was... really so worried about that i don't know if i should be but it just doesn't seem like it's likely watching well, frank's video in a mine in a mine such as this here guys let me show you this dynamite box in a mine such as this where nobody's ever really found it since the 40s there's a good chance it might be down in here giant powder co and I'll just quickly look for a date on it. Yeah, here we go. Got a date, Randy. All right. I got to turn these super bright flashlights off to show everybody. That's too bright. Here you go, lower right hand corner. 1929. December 4th, 1929. All right. Ooh, cool. <laughs> All right, I found something neat, guys. I gotta get to a safe place before I can show it to you, though. All right. So, we got something going off that direction. And here we have, let me turn that down. Chesterfield. Chesterfield cigarettes. There. All right. Miners, what were you doing down in here? Ooh, big hunky piece of, giant piece of limonite. This is a real, come on. Oh, I wish I was 19 again and only weighed 160 pounds. Yeah, well just take it easy there, Dusty. That's what I'm trying to do. Gosh, look at this thing. <laughs> okay, so over here, we got an old bucket. And then things are getting really nasty going down into this hole. 
Randy. All right. When you get yourself turned around here, hold on to that. Start. All right, here it come. Okay. Look at this. Look at this craziness. You wow. Have, you would have to be Leprechauns. out. Leprechauns. You'd have to be out of your mind to go down in here. You have to be out of your mind to go down in here. You, you really just would. Hit it on the nail. You want? Let me show everybody what we got for hiding down in here. All right. All right. I'm gonna look at that bucket. Okay. I'm gonna go down into this crazy hole that nobody should probably, in their right mind, go into. But as Frank Schlichting would say, "In for a penny, in for a pound." <laughs> All right. Oh wow, it's full of gold coins. Nice. Whoa, boy. I'm about ready to get a, a board right up my... Oh, Randy. Oh, I just found something really cool. Look at the pocket. Let me turn the lights down a bit. Look at the big old shiny pocket of Galena right there. Oh, cool. I just found a piece in this bucket. Nice. Now if I can just somehow squirrel my way into the bottom of this thing. Good grief. So I've got a, uh, this is kind of cool. Should I save it? What's that? It's a canvas sack and it's heavy. It's got stuff in it. Do you want to wait to look inside? Yeah, we'll, let's wait. All right, I'll set it aside here. I got to figure out how I'm going to do this here. Um, boy, okay. Did right. you uh, did you examine this gnarly looking limonite vein? Not yet. No, I'm I got my I'm focused on getting into the bottom of this puppy and not kill myself in the process. Okay, here we go. What do we have down in here? Another dynamite box. Aha! Eureka! Eureka, Randy. I found the vein. Yeah. Okay, guys. Look at that. <laughs> Woohoo! Look at that. Wow. Randy, yeah, you're gonna want to come down here and see this. Really, and um, you're gonna want to get a sample. Okay, I've got a big nail. I can. There is a busted shovel down in here, and I'm looking for a piece of old drill steel that you could use as a chisel. Okay. There was one back up there. A piece of drill steel shaped like a chisel you could use. You saw one? Yeah. Where, yeah. How so far it, up? When you're headed back up, it'll be on your left in that little cove. Oh, I don't want to go all the way back up there. I got a big nail here. Uh, okay. Let's see what else we have in this mine. I'll come down. I'm going to see if I can find a date on this dynamite box. Another one from Giant Powder Company. Here we go. Got a date. Once again, and you can just barely see it right there. Oops. 1928, February. Nothing solid. You're almost there. Holy cow, how'd you get down in here? You're crazy. There you go. Now oh, you're in the bottle. Oh, God, there were no nails. <laughs> oh. you, got, you got your tetanus shot, Randy? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, look over here. Wow, look at that. Look, look over here. Oh, that's <laughs> what they were chasing, is yeah. that Galena. Okay, can you hold that and point it at me? Because I'm about to do something really, really crazy. Yeah. Kid. It still goes. <laughs> Kids, don't do this. Just don't do it. Maybe 
you sure you want to go in that? <laughs> you know, it is filled with waste rock. Well, you know, there might be something really damn cool down in here. You just don't nope. know until you go. That pipe is a stall. Black iron pipe. Oh my gosh. Now this, this is my kind of exploring, Randy. Hey, it's an old shovel. Wouldn't it be funny if there was a yellow rope attached to it? <laughs> yeah. Come on now. Boy, there ain't much room around here to move around. Okay, here we are. I believe we're at the bottom of this mine. Whew, nice. Okay, anything good down in here? I see a tin of some sort, but that's about it. Over there and over here. Yeah. Well, son of a, oh my gosh, there's something over here, Randy. You gotta be kidding me. I see something, what is that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, the back look like it's, it, it's definitely been backfilled. Okay, see, look, I see something up there. It's almost like a piece of denim or something. Randy? Yeah? I'm going for it. What is it? I don't know, it, it, it could be denim, it could be tin, I can't tell. But How far? The, the space that I have to, to skinny through is only two feet wide by 18 inches tall. Um, I'm going for it, man. Just stay safe, man. I'm trying. And you know. I'm gonna do it. I don't know if this is smart or stupid. So We're about to find out. You're in a position where it's gonna be hard to get out of there. Well, if this comes down on me, you're gonna have to dig me out. Try not to make dust. All I can do. Oh no! What was that? That's just me. Don't worry about it. That didn't sound good. No, you're I'm fine. I'm just trying to get a foothold here. All right, take it easy. Don't get excited. Just God dang. Yeah, I feel like I'm back in my cave exploring days. Wow, there's Galena everywhere. Cool. Yep. They're definitely backfilling this. Okay. There. All right, guys. Made it through. But uh, give me a second. I want to catch my breath here. Okay, there, I'm feeling better now. So, look at the vein off to the upper right-hand side there. Okay, they're definitely, this is, a, this is a silver mine. They're going after silver. Yep, silver and lead. Well, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if, 
you know, they didn't also have, we're finding gold in here too. I mean, there's limonite and such. Oh, look at this, guys. This is not cool or what, huh? Another dynamite box. Okay, so what do we have hiding over here? feet instead of on my darn knees. My oh, grief. Oh, come on. There. Okay. What do we got here? We got a ladder going up. So at one time, this was acting as an ore pass, but we got a ladder going back up. Okay, look at here. Here's a nice, oh my gosh, how heavy that is. Yeah, it's as heavy like lead. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that piece. I'll go in my pocket. So, if I continue that way, is this going to go back? What do you think, guys? What do you think I should do? Should I go back? Should I go up or go back towards Randy? Hey, Randy? Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, okay, so I found uh, an ore pass here, and there's a really nasty ladder going up it, but it's not at a very steep angle. Um, I'm going for it. I think it might take me right right straight back up to uh, the, uh, the, 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 the drift level. I'm gonna find out here in a minute. So it goes back up, and it looks like it's as high as the one we just came down? Exactly. Yeah, that's what I think it's doing. So uh, I'll let you know. Give me a few minutes. Oh, so in case you're wondering. That what I thought was denim back there wasn't. It was a piece of tin. are gonna hold me okay guys Whew. thanks for bearing with me I had to do some battery change outs there now I'll tell you what this is not easy by any stretch of the imagination here the question is is this gonna go Back to the top, back to the drift, or is this just going to go to an area that they were working? Well, we're going to find out. I can't imagine going to work every day in a thing like, in something like this. Holy cow. How in the world? I mean, there's not even enough room to to swing a pickaxe in here. Oh, come on. Wow. Oh. Okay. So is this just a... Let me guess, all we have here is a raise.
Yep. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, guys, as soon as I get my a good place to show you what's going on in here. I'll give you the grand tour. First, I want to see if it's safe. And a bat. Oh my God, get up there. Yeah, you just stay there, Mr. Bat. Ain't no harm gonna come to you. All right, too much huffing and puffing. <laughs> I'll be fat boy will return after these messages. All right, there we go. That feels better. Yeah, you just gotta take a break once in a while. That's all there is to it. All right, so I'm pointing my laser at a three inch wide piece of uh, galena right there, lead sulfide, and uh, there's silver in that, and that's what they're chasing after. Um, and my laser's stuck on again. Now looking above my head here, you can see all the galena up there on that, uh, on that hanging wall behind me here. You can see, I'll point the laser, there's Mr. Bat right there. There's Mr. Bat. And the miners put some uh, block and bracing and cribbing in place here to keep stuff from falling down on them from that direction. Um, now, right here, there's a, a rock. Eventually my laser will turn off. Come on, turn off already. Um, here's a nice chunky piece of Galena silver ore right there. Um, let me show you what's behind me though. So indeed, this didn't go anywhere. It's just a, it's just a raise. But behind me, look at the layer there. It's eight inches across right there. Okay. And see how they were working it over there by that. See, there's the bat. Look how they were working that vein going up that direction. Now, this stuff here that's hanging over my head is very unstable. Um, I don't want to get, I don't want to use that to, get my balance. So I'm gonna go this way instead. Do you copy, Gly? Yeah, go ahead. What's the status of the uh, opportunity to get back up? Okay, so what I did here is I worked myself into a raise. I worked myself into a raise and it comes to a stop. Uh, but I've got veins of Galena going all over the place. Okay, so you will have to come back this way to get out? That's correct. I'm headed back your, your direction in a moment. Copy that. So what do you think, guys? Should I try to break off, break off a specimen for you? Actually, the one in my pocket that I already found, as well as this one. 
That one's really nice, right here. It's the same thing. It's the exact same kind of material. I would imagine if you hit that with a rock hammer and break it open, it's gonna be just as shiny as what we're looking at right there. Okay, I'm gonna put that one in my back pocket. Yeah, we'll save that one. That's pretty cool. Now, for the fun part. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> Alrighty. couple buckets. there. Two buckets. And I can't anything in the buckets? Nope. Empty buckets. By the way, guys, that dynamite box, that was, that dynamite box that's down in here was from 1929. Well, okay, here's our skinny little hole. Where's Randy? There he is. You okay? <laughs> How's it going? I'm almost there. Come on, Dusty. I'm trying. <laughs> you need help? I just need to catch my breath here. Were you able to chip out any nice samples? Not any big ones. Oh, I got one. But you know, there's a better, or just as good of a Galena vein further up. So might as well collect from there. Some lucky eBayer, some lucky subscriber is going to get a nice sample. There's no way I was going to come this deep into this mine and not get a little piece. Well, I'm no. going to get as many pieces I think I can carry. I don't want to <laughs> overload it though. Well, maybe 10 or 20 pounds at the most. When I get up there, I'm going to put this one in your backpack because it's uh, doing its best to drill a hole into my buttocks. Uh-oh. <laughs> <sighs> what the heck was I thinking? What were you thinking? <laughs> it's an Randy, it's another one of those gopher moments. Yeah. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> there, I'm feeling better now. Okay. Look at that piece. Oh, yeah, see? That's similar to what I have in my pocket. Keep it. I think I'll keep that. That's a good one. It's just laying right here. Yeah. Yeah, look at look at the vein. Look at that vein you're pulling it out of there. Yeah. Man, out of alignment. I... Well, that's where I got this chunk. Up there, over there. All right, show us what you found. Oh, we got that nice big chunk of lime and I. Yeah. I set that there. But you said you found a bag with something in it? Yep, got to pull it out here. Okay. Pieces of galena. That's... Oh. All right. A little sack here. Heavy. Oh, sample sack. Maybe so. Ah, oh, it's a oh, bunch of nails. Oh, nothing but nails. Old nails. Yeah, we'll leave that here. Nails. Oh, we were hoping for gold coins, but hey, you know, <laughs> gold coins. What else you got Maybe in that some bucket? Premium pieces of ore is what I was hoping for, but that's it. The rest of that's just yeah. Rocks. Hold on to those smaller pieces, Easy. and uh, right now I'm going to go ahead since I'm thinking about it. I don't know about this lime and I. Can you put this? Look at this piece. So this is what I got all the way up into that raise right here. If you could put these two. I can get in my pocket here. Here we go. If you could put these, actually, I got three here that you can offer on your site. Man, this thing's getting heavy already. Speaking of heavy, wait till you Lead feel. Sulfide. Wait till you feel this. Oh, yeah. Now that's heavy. Look at these. More nice pieces. Those look pretty good. Yeah. So are. see this nice silvery one, guys. So that one there is is you know, would be just like the, what I found in that vein, but I couldn't chip it out. They were laying on the floor. But that big piece there, if you chop it in half, you're going to see how shiny it is. Yeah. yeah, so Randy will offer that up on his uh, eBay site. Again, the link will be down in the description area. And your your eBay site is called what again? E... Oh, E-Stuff. E-Stuff. For now, I might change the name. Yeah. That's a pretty cool piece. That's it. Feel how heavy that one is. Oh yeah, yeah. That's another. Oh yeah, that's that's ore. And that Certainly. Nice. Oh, that that limonite's nice. I like the crystallization on it. That's Very nice cool. Yeah, it's like. Uh, <sighs> All right. Well, thing here. I'm gonna work my way up. All right. Okay. Um, guys, I'll I'll uh, I'll see you when we get back up to the drift. There wasn't much more to show you here, so when we get back to the drift, we'll go from there. All right, everybody, back again. Wow, that was uh, that was pretty strenuous. What do you think, Randy? Uh, yeah. But it at least like you were huffing and puffing. I was huffing and puffing pretty good down in that winds. I'm I'm really happy we came back to this mine and showed everybody what was down in there. We got some nice samples of galena. So guys, what we've been doing over the last half an hour is uh, we methodically went through this entire drift, collecting as many artifacts as possible, and we put each uh, everything that we found into these piles. So let's start with pile number one here. Randy, what did we find? Well, I think uh, we'll start with the, what I think is the neatest. Yeah. It's this old green bean can. That's really super cool. Guys, let me show you a close-up picture of that. You know, it's very rare to see vegetable cans like that with the label still on them. That's that's really rare. Okay, next item. Prince Albert, that's common. You see those all the time. Yep, Prince Albert in a can, and you need to let them out. Early 1900s. Old Some MJB coffee. MJB coffee. We got a couple of old gold cigarettes. Old gold. Yep. Old mold. Old mold. And a cigarette there looks like a home rolled one. It's it is, a, so that 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 would have that would have been uh, what Bull Durham, um, tobacco maybe, roll your own, yeah. or Prince Albert. Now remember, we found the cigarette papers the last time we were in here. We did. Now my dad in the he used to smoke Old Gold, and we used to always tease him and call it Old Mold. <laughs> all right, that's all we found in this little section. Let's work our way to the next little pile. Up here, Randy found some more treasures. Another old gold cigarette. Oh pack. yeah. I don't know what kind of foil that is. It might be aluminum. Uh, it, it, I don't think it's tin. 
What are you thinking, Randy? Uh, 30s, 40s? 20s or 30s. I think so, too. Yeah, that's when yeah. they were actively mining, I believe. And what else did you have there? We got some... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Mineral samples here, mostly limonite. Oh, those are some nice pieces of limonite. Are you going to grab any of them smaller ones for yeah, samples? I'll, I'll try to take some of that back out of here, whatever I can fit in my backpack and carry without killing myself. <laughs> I think your pack is already nearly 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. Let me show them that Hercules over here. That's a nice plaque. Look at that. That's really awesome. Broken dynamite box. Yeah. Cool. Cool stuff out here. Okay. We'll keep going this way. Now, guys, the last time that uh, we were down in this mine, uh, many of you had questions down in the comment section. And you asked me, hey, you know, don't blur out things. That's just ridiculous. I'm, I'm really sorry I did that, and I'm sorry that it made a lot of you unhappy, but there is graffiti on the wall down here that is uh, directly related to the name of this mine, and I don't want... I, I just want, I, I need to preserve this mine. It's a, it's a real ju uh, gem. Now, here's another question you guys ask. Why in the world would mice build a house this deep in a mine? Randy, any ideas? No, oh, just uh, feeling safe going this deep, I guess. But the material. The material that they built out their nest out of. Burlap sack. Here. Yep. There's a burlap sack up there, and it's filled oh, with okay. stuff that looks. Oh. It looks like, uh, like that. it almost asbestos. <laughs> Phew, I'm not going to breathe that in. I'm out of here. No, it's some kind of. It looks like a natural hair Turner fiber of some sort. So that was their nesting material. Yeah, they've been yeah. nesting up in this area here, and oh yeah, calling it home. Okay, so. That, that's, you know, I, I don't know too much about those kinds of things, why mice would build a house so darn uh, deep in a mine. But they just felt safe down here, and that's where they did it. Now, we've already showed you that bottle. Now, Randy, a while back, he poked his head up underneath this ore chute. And uh, let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. Right up there is a pair, pair, a pair of pants that are sticking, hanging from that beam and a piece of burlap. Now they look pretty tore up, um, whether they're Levi's or not, I don't know. Randy, are you considering going up in there and giving them a tug? What do you think? Well, Should we get them? They aren't doing any good crammed up in there like yeah, that. Yeah, see if you can go up there and give them a tug. We'll, we'll watch you do it, if you can reach them. All right. Okay. I'm going to try to poke the camera in such a way that everybody can see what you're doing. I mean, heck, that would be a pretty cool find if they turned out to, if you could actually get them out of there and they wore, wore jeans. Uh, I guess it's just a ripped pair of jeans. Is it? Okay. They are old de uh, blue denim. Yeah. And then we also have some burlap. Okay. Like it's uh, it's stuffed in between this uh, the boards here. Any ideas what the purpose of that would be? Um, they, they sealed off. The, they finished up with this ore chute, and then they sealed it off. They wanted to keep stuff from falling down. That's why they stuffed it up in there. Yeah, it ain't coming out without ripping it up. Okay, that's fine. Just we'll just leave, leave it. it. We'll leave it. All right, well, now while Randy works his way out of that little hole, another thing that we found, look up in this ore, look up there, there's a, a rug, and if you look real close, you can see a pattern on it. So I'm, I'm guessing that's what that is. It's a, it's a rug of some sort. Okay. We're going to wait till old Randy here works himself out of the hole. Then we're going to go over to the next pile of artifacts. Did you see this? Papers and stuff? Yeah. Oh no, I haven't showed him that yet. Let's Sorry do... about the dust. That's okay. Let's do that next. What'd you find here with those papers? Oh, okay. 
wheat straw rolling papers and above that it says the Reno Evening Gazette 1945 yeah right there sure is piece of newspaper from 45 and the rolling papers oh yeah okay we found some the last time but it seems like it was further in the mine no, long. they were right over here on the floor. I think it was the same ones. You the left them here one. by this door. Yeah. Okay. okay, so once again, guys, the reason I'm pointing the camera down at the floor is uh, there's a lot of graffiti down here that would definitely give away the mine. And um, I just, I want to preserve this. I don't want someone coming down here and stealing all these artifacts and doing something silly. Let's work our way over here. Okay, Randy, come on. What else we have? So we put together a pile of all the things we found up in this drift. Take a look. So starting over here, we had that can of, uh, what was it called again? Zer Zero lean. Zero lean uh, antifreeze, I believe. Yeah, we already looked at that. We I looked at that, that last time. And that's a really nice can of Rich Lube. It's a good shape. It's painted a, on label? Yeah, painted on. Um, I found many of those, but uh, they were very rusted. Those are in nice, nice condition. Here's a repurposed can of some sort with a wire on it. Grease. There. And now, is that what do you think is in that jar? Could um, th there's a powder in there. Could be lime. Yeah. Don't know. And uh, old lard can. That one says lard. Oh, something on the back. Look at that. Silver Leaf brand. Swifts. Silver Swifts. Leaf. Silver Leaf brand. Something lard. Cooking lard or something like that. Yeah. Oh. And a uh, jug. Broken. Broken jug with a broken handle. Not too old. Up around the corner here. Um, I'll just show it to you guys once again. There was all kinds of uh, old buckets. Buckets. More buckets, burlap sack. We showed you that in the last in the last episode, and a whole lot of vent pipe. So, okay, that is it for this level. There's no more artifacts to show you. So what we're gonna do, guys, is um, we're gonna head back to the ladder, go up to the next drift because there's artifacts there, and uh, I'll show you those, and we'll do some nice uh, nice close-ups on them for you. So we'll see you up there. So as I'm working my way back to the ladder. I look down on the ground here. Here's something I didn't show you guys before. There's a piece of paper from June 16th, 1945. Um, Reno Saturday Evening Post. And it says there, Minister to Moscow. Interesting. Yep, I didn't show you that. Um, I've already showed you the wheelbarrow in the previous video and around the corner up in there was their powder magazine. I showed you all that already. I'm pretty sure I also showed you that Hills Brothers can. Okay, once again, working back to the ladder. I'm not looking forward to the climb. I'm pretty darn tired, but hey, this is what we do. I'll see you up at the next drift. Okay, sorry guys, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. I forgot we had one more pile of artifacts I wanted to show you. So um, I'm going to give you guys a close-up here of that cigarette label. That comes off of, a, I believe, a package of uh, loose-cut Bull Durham tobacco that Randy's holding right there. Okay, here's a picture of it. Take a look. Okay, next uh, on that can right there, Randy, what kind of an oil can was that? Oh, that was that was RPM. Um, yeah, we've seen a lot of them. And then the last time we were here, we found that apple cider, or that yeah, that vinegar, yeah. and it's and the brand was um, Old Gold. Old Gold vinegar. I looked all over on the internet. I could not find a bottle of that. That's that's brand new. I've never seen anything like it. And then, but many of you did find. The mead whiskey. The mead whiskey. Yep. Yeah. I remember looking at all this stuff. And then uh, <laughs> this is the funny. This is the, the funny thing. The pills. A lot of you asked me, well, did you look at the imprint on those pills inside the celery salt container? Are they lemons? Seven fourteen lemons. 
And yes, I opened it up and I looked at them under my loop and it says Bayer aspirin on them. No, they are not. Old Bayer aspirins. Huh? They are not Lemon 714s, guys. <laughs> and if they were, that would be a heck of a find. Lemon 714s. Yeah, huh? I don't know if you know what those are, Randy. I do not. Okay, I'll tell you later. I'm naive. <laughs> All right, um, and then we found this uh, this uh, newspaper here from the, I think it's the 40s, and uh, kind of like open that up and flip through the pages, show everybody. Yeah, Camel cigarette. Yeah. Ad. Hey, th hey, Mr. M, this is for you. It, it reads: More people are smoking camels than ever before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We got some cartoons. Yeah. Dra oh, look at that. Look at that Drano. It's a Drano ad. It sure is. Yeah. It's a guy look, driving something that looks like a 1940s car. Hey, Welch's that looks like me jelly. when I, that looks like me when I was a little kid. <laughs> With Welch's. Since 1869. This says copyright 1948. Oh, 48. Very good. Uh huh. And there's some Lux soap. See toilet that? soap, bath size. Lux bath toilet soap. Lux girls are lovelier. Uh huh. You'd be a movie star if you use Lux soap. So some of you, the soap. some of you might be asking, why would there be newspaper or magazine paper like that down in here? Well, at one point in time, there was a honey pot, which is a toilet, and they used paper like that to do their business. <laughs> Actually, help clean up after doing your business. Better than gunny sacks. All right. So, around the corner here, um, that's where we found those artifacts. They were all hiding up in here. And so I brought them and I put them in a place where the mine doesn't flood up and out of the way. So now, oh, one more thing before we head up. There was that big ore bucket right there. And if you if you look closely here on the on the beam right there is a load board with pegs in it, pegboard to count the loads up and out of the mine. But that ore bucket's really cool. That's a that's a neat find. Yeah. Alrighty, so here we go. We have to go back up this crazy. Look at that. Look at that. That's almost vertical. All right, we'll see you up at the next drift. Hey, you know what? Chicken butt. All right, guys, here we are. We are at uh, the next drift higher up, and this is the location where that canteen was. Um, See that canteen hanging there in the corner? Yeah. Still has the canvas around it. Still full of whiskey. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty cool. Now I found one similar to that out in the desert here not too long ago, but this one is much better shape. Yeah, you just hang it there, Randy. Is it is it nice? Yeah, yeah that'll be fine. Okay. And then Turn it around. Let me show you this over here, guys. So this is something that you didn't see the last time we were in this mine. Randy, hold up these two sacks here. All right. Show them what I found. These were covered in dust. So that one there says... Utah. Union. Portland cement and it has a let me turn these lights down a little bit. Oh, sorry. My lights on. Yeah, I kill it. I want to blow it out There's a picture of a devil on there on that one. That's really cool. And then the other one. Let's show them that one Ham H-A-M oh, Harmel H-A-R-M-I-L-L. Harmel? 
Harmel. Number zero. Number zero, and that's what that had on it. Yeah, so we just uh, got them off the floor and draped them over this pipe here. And then uh, looking up further this direction, that's the shaft, the shaft that we're working our way up. So that was it. Um, all the other artifacts we found on this drift are in the previous episode. Okay, so like I said, yeah, head on over there. Uh, the link is in the description area. Randy, what do you say we go up to the next drift? There may have been one artifact up there that I missed. Let's head okay. up there. Let's head up there next. All right, guys, made it to the last level in this mine. Um, I did a little looking around, but the only thing here is that Prince Albert can that had the bag of bull Durham in it or cigarette papers from the last time that we were here. Um, I couldn't find anything else. So that's it. I feel as though we did a really good job today exploring 100% of this mine as well as going back through and uh, taking one more look at all the great artifacts. So I thank you all for helping me reach 140,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome. And uh, I hope that you tell all your friends and family about my YouTube channel um, so, and help me boost up to 150,000. That's, that's the next goal. Guys, thank you all for coming along on this fun adventure. And I will see you again next weekend. Take care now. Bye-bye.